dominant narrative always trumps serious economic analysis. The dominant narrative that has pervaded our thinking about the economy um, over the past five or six years is that the, the government has been pursuing um, a fairly well thought out, coherent, long-term economic plan um, which has delivered um, an economic recovery that is to some extent the envy of other developed economies. And there have always been problems with the introduction of technology, essentially with this sort of AI robot um, type economy. We're likely to see something similar to the, uh, the pattern we've seen perhaps over the last 20 to 25 years, which is this hollowing out of the labour market, the loss of routine jobs, which in the past pays, paid reasonable incomes, um, and then the, 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 the challenge is preventing people from falling into the um, low income trough of either poor quality jobs or unemployment on the one hand, and trying to move as many people up into the, the higher quality um, range of jobs. The future remains in our control. We can make the best of it. What we need to ensure is that we have the tools and the equipment and the nows to do it um, and not allow it to descend into the same kind of simplistic um, uh, narrative of, of doom and gloom that um, is akin to the kind of simplistic narratives that tell us at present our economy is doing fantastically well, whereas in fact it's pretty second-rate uh, and indeed a pretty fundamental reboot.